Hey guys, what's going on? I have another little video for you guys, and um, out here, new scenery. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing videos uh, on this table all the time. Uh, you probably recognize this video from my storm EDC video that I made. And uh, you know, it was a beautiful day. It's sun's finally going down, it's getting cooler. And you know, I just wanted to change up the scenery, you know? You gotta do uh, something different every once in a while. Speaking of different, did you notice that I did not say Hey guys, Sherman614 here. Yeah, I've uh, been doing that for three years now. You know, got to change it up a little bit. <laughs> so, as you see by the title of this video, a paracord has come in. I went to the same Army Navy store that I got my waterproof paper at and picked up some new paracord. Now, I still need to get some off of Amazon or CampingSurvival.com, but I have been doing a few projects lately, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys. Um, first of all, let me just show you the paracord I got. It comes in these big bags. Um, the company is Atlantco, uh, 550, and uh, I have the 50 feet price tag, 497. I got I got what they call safety orange. It's kind of like a, I guess you call it an electric blue. I guess you could call it. Oh, there's a bug in my paracord. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think it's Coyote Brown, if I'm not mistaken. It may just be Khaki. And then Kelly Green. They did not have black at the time. They said that was the most popular color and they were absolutely sold out. So I'm gonna have to just buy it offline but until then you know I made a, a few things I just want to show first of all I made um, this lanyard for my tenacious I just thought it was cool the orange and the, uh, the the black handle and everything so I used the same metal bead as you saw in some of my older lanyards and like the one that I sent cutlery lover um, he showed off and <clears throat> he showed it off one of his videos and talked about how he liked uh, those metal beads and uh, I'm glad somebody else likes those because I really like using those. I like the way they look and they are the perfect size for these projects. So I did that. Uh, I also made this lanyard for my flashlight. It's just a Garrity, uh, Garrity, however you want to pronounce it. This little LED flashlight. It's, it's pretty powerful. I'm not too sure of the lumens. This is just one of those cheap little five dollar flashlights you get at the grocery store. But I made this lanyard, I ran out of the metal beads so I used a wooden bead. I think it kind of complements the khaki color. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this is a old old lanyard that I had, one of the first ones that I made. Just OD green, I ran completely out of OD green. I need to order some of that when I order the black. And then um, this one I uh, made the tassel parts too short so I just cut them out and uh, so I wouldn't have to just scrap the project all together. And I didn't have any more metal beads, so I used a lug nut. Same for this one. And I thought it looked pretty cool, and uh, it works. All the other ones are box stitch. This is a circle, or a round stitch. It has the tassels and everything. This is probably my favorite one that I made. It's the khaki and blue, with a nice regular plain wood bead goes with the khaki pretty nicely and then just a plain blue one so I'm gonna be making more in the very near future don't worry and um, I'm gonna get a few more colors so I'll be making more with different color combinations and I'm going to start uh, giving some away contest coming soon so be on the lookout because now I finally have paracord and um, some stuff to give away. So, I have some of that. Uh, also, just a quick thing to note, some of this paracord is a little different. Like, some of these are more, what's the word, soft and pliable than the other ones. The orange is pretty rigid. Um, the green is really rigid. I mean, it's really, feels really thick. Whereas the khaki feels really, soft and uh, pliable like a shoelace. 
So it's kind of weird. It's the same brand, same uh, 550, the seven inner strands. I took all the strands out. I didn't, now I just have a big bag of paracord innards. <laughs> but yeah, so and also the I don't know if I'm gonna get questions on this or not. The uh, the knot I used on here, the tassel, it's the same knot that the Boker uh, Boker uses for their lanyards and what is that company? Wilson's Tactical. Wilson's uses that same exact knot. Uh, I have not seen a video on how to do that on YouTube yet. So if you guys are interested, if you want to know how to do that knot with the tassels coming out of the middle, just uh, let me know in this. Just let me know in the comments section, so I can uh, post a video on how to do that. If you guys are interested, if not, then you know I won't. <laughs> Anyway, just a quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, more videos to come. Sherman 614. Peace.